Welcome to One and Done. I'm Max, and I can't teach you how to make friends, but what I can do is teach you how to make just one of something. Today we're doing chicken pot pie. Let's go. Before we start, get your oven preheated to 425. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is just cook our chicken. So we have some stock boiling here. I made this with just a little bit of water and this better than bouillon stuff. You can use like a chicken bouillon cube, but this stuff is really good and it comes in handy. What I'm gonna do to this, to zhuzh it up a little bit, is just throw in a couple of peppercorns and a bay leaf. Now we're just gonna throw our chicken in here. All right, so what we're gonna do is kill the heat and just cover this. Now after about 20 minutes, that chicken is gonna be perfectly cooked and super juicy. We're just gonna set it aside and prep our mirepoix, which is just two parts onion and one part celery and carrot. And since we're just doing this for a one, we don't really need that much. So this should be pretty easy. We're just gonna do a little half moons. You can cut these into any shape you want because you're alone. <laughs> we do whatever you want. I don't really like celery that much, so I'm not gonna use that much celery. But hey, if you would love celery, throw a giant stalk in there, be crazy with it. Now I got the smallest onion I could find because only one person's eating this bad boy and that's me, so I don't need a giant onion, you know? We're also gonna do garlic cloves and we're just gonna throw a couple tablespoons of butter in this bad boy. All right, our butter's getting melted, and we're just gonna go in with a little mirepoix situation here. Now, we don't want these to be like mushy. Like you want a good crunch of an onion in it and a good chicken pot pie. So we're just gonna get these to soften up just a little bit. We're also gonna hit this with a little pinch of salt. So it'll help bring out some of the moisture of the veg. And we're gonna go in with some black pepper. Cause you want that black pepper to get a little bit toasted in the butter. You could use olive oil here if you wanted to, but Butter's better, what are you gonna do? Now going with our garlic. Now we're gonna go in with a little bit of flour. This is gonna help thicken it later and it's gonna create a little bit of a roux so that we get a really nice thick sauce. Now we're gonna cook this for a few minutes until that raw flour flavor is cooked out. All right, we're gonna check our chicken temp. A 165, honestly, that's what the US government says to do, so we'll just keep it at that. I'm gonna let this rest for a few minutes and we're gonna use this chicken stock to deglaze the pan. Just gonna kind of eyeball this. There's a couple cups there. All right, now I'm just gonna go in with some rosemary and thyme for that delicious flavor. Now just keep this on a medium heat and let it simmer while we grab a couple of forks and shred our chicken. All right, truthfully, I'm a chicken thigh guy, but for a chicken pot pie, that rhymes. I should rap about chicken pot pies. But for chicken pot pie, you wanna use a chicken breast, in my opinion, because there's so much fat in here already. Like you have butter, we're gonna have heavy cream in here. It's gonna be really, it's such a rich meal. So like, Something lean like a chicken breast is actually good for something like this. Chicken's all shredded up. Let's go on in. It's starting to get nice and thick from that flour too. Now we're gonna hit it with some heavy cream and just make it nice and rich. Woo! All right, now while this is simmering for the last few minutes, you wanna pop a puff pastry out of the fridge. Now you can make your own pie crust for this, or you can use like a Pillsbury biscuit, but puff pastry is great. You just use a little piece of it and you can keep this thing around and use it for your other lonely meals. Maybe you wanna make some sort of pastry for yourself. You can do that. All right, our salsa is getting nice and thick. So what we're gonna do is pop out our herbs here. We're gonna go in with our frozen peas and we're just gonna give this a little taste for salt and pepper. Honestly, Normally I add a little extra salt, it doesn't really need a thing. Got this puff pastry, it's been sitting out for a little bit. Now it's a little bit easier to work with. This right now, as it is, is a little bit too thick. So this is simmering away. We're gonna roll this out to the right size. Just gonna make it a little bit thinner. Now this is about the thinness that I want. I'm gonna just lay this down. We're just gonna cut this out. Nice little circle. Just a little bit bigger, about a centimeter bigger than the edge of the bowl here. Now this doesn't have to be perfect, you know why? Because you're the only one that's gonna see it, you're all alone. So now we got this ready, we're actually gonna put this in the refrigerator and just let it cool down before we pop it in the oven. This is looking about as thick as we want it to be. So what we're gonna do is the final step, which is baking this bad boy with the pie crust. So let's get in our bowl. Now you can eat it just like this. It would be delicious, but you're not gonna have that delicious crispy crust. So we're gonna get that set up right now. Perfectly fits into one bowl for one person. Granted, it is a big portion for one person, but it's gonna be delicious. All right, we got our little pastry out of the fridge here. 
And we got our egg wash situation. Now, if you don't want to use an egg because eggs cost a billion dollars these days, just use a little bit of the heavy cream from before. Now, you can do a little cool pattern in this. I'm going to do just, you know, the classic few lines here, but these are just vents so that some steam can get out of your puff pastry. Maybe a little extra ones, you know? Make it pretty, you deserve it. Yeah, it's a little bit sketchy, but again, it's just you, so it's okay. Now, we're gonna pop this guy on top. It's looking a little lopsided, but I'm not too worried about that. And now, let's make a little, some little pinchies. Why not? Now, I'm not a baker, but I do like to do this different every time because you know, you just have fun with it. Now, to me, this looks beautiful. I like my little messy edges. And guess what? I'm the only one who's gonna be eating it, so it's perfect. Now let's hit the egg wash. This is what's gonna make this puff pastry look really golden when it comes out of the oven. So we're just gonna paint this. Pop this on a baking sheet, and we're gonna go into our oven. And then we'll check back in like, 20 minutes, but we're gonna keep an eye on it because every oven's different. We'll be back. All right, it's been 20 minutes. Let's check on this bad boy. Woo! All right. Now my crimping didn't turn out so well. Actually, you know what? It's not bad. Perfectly golden, delicious chicken pot pie for one. All right, we're gonna try this bad boy. I know it's way too hot and I shouldn't be doing it, but I can't wait any longer, so let's go. Oh yeah, it's crunchy. Do I just risk it and roast my mouth for the camera? All right, let's try this bad boy. I mean, there's a chicken pot pie. This thing's delicious. This is for one very hungry person, granted. It's pretty huge, but this is how you make just one chicken pot pie. I hope you do it.